stay tuned if you want to learn how to make this. Hi everyone, welcome to Toys Fun and Games. Today I will be showing you how to make a taffy twist bracelet. You will need about three colors, well four colors. Black is for the border and yellow, blue, and green are my other colors. Have your arrow be facing that way. Okay, so what you're gonna do first is grab your first rubber band and put it there and bring it to the left. And then we're gonna go up, 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 and up. We're gonna keep doing this. And here we reach the end of the loom. I mean the top of the loom. We're gonna go back to the beginning, grab your other rubber band and bring it to the right and go up. And our last rubber band, right there. And then we're going to grab yellow and our green and our blue. And what we're gonna do is scratch it and make a figure eight and then put it on the first set right here. And grab our other rubber bands and make a figure eight, put it on the second peg. Green, grab our blue and then grab our yellow. Okay. Oops, <laughs> I didn't put it on exactly. Make a figure eight and then put it on here. And we're almost finished. Grab our last rubber bands and then make a figure eight and then place it on your last pegs. Next step is cap band. What we're gonna do next is grab a rubber band Put two fingers in, and then make a figure eight, and then place it on there. What we're doing is a cap band, and then place it on there, on this peg. Step two, looping. What we're gonna do is turn the loom, loom around, pull our cap band back, and then grab our first rubber band, and pull it to your left. And we're going to go up, pull these rubber bands back, and grab the last one. Pull it back, and grab your last one. Pull back, pull it up, and release. Pull back, pull it up, and put to this. And we're going to fast forward it from here. And here we reach the end of the loom. Our last one. And then I'm gonna grab the bottom one and pull it to the right. It should look like this, but we have to go all the way to the beginning and then loom our other side. We're gonna grab the, the last one, pull it to the right, grab our last one, and pull it up and then put it on that peg. Do the same thing over and over. And just keep on going. It's pretty simple. And then our last rubber band. Oops, I forgot to loop this one. <laughs> How silly of me. And there. So this is what it should look like. Now, we are ready to finish the bracelet. First, what you need to do is put your hook down here, pull it to the side like this. It's what it should look like, and then grab your rubber band and then pull it up. Oops, having some trouble. This can be a little hard. Okay, there. And I'm gonna bring it to the thickest part, which is here. We're gonna start pulling. This kind of um, sometimes scares me because I don't know if it's gonna rip, pull. Oh, look how it's coming out. And this is what it, your bracelet should look like. So what we're gonna do next is 
add an extension. So we're gonna turn our loom. It depends on how many rubber bands you need because you may have a small wrist or you may have a large wrist. So you can use three or four for a small wrist maybe. And for a larger wrist, maybe five or six. Okay, then we're going to grab our bracelet and then put the bracelet on there so it sticks. And then we're gonna turn our loom and then loop. And there, that's what it should look like. Put this across there, put that there, and then that gives you space to put your clip. And we're gonna take it off. Okay, and then put that in there. And this is what your bracelet should look like. You need to make sure you have your... Oh, oh my gosh, I messed up. I'm sorry, I messed up. Okay, I'm gonna start again. One, two, three.